Imagine a drone so advanced it can hunt in total silence, track a moving target from 30,000 feet, and relay battlefield intelligence faster than a human can blink. A drone feared by enemies, trusted by allies, and known worldwide as Israel's unstoppable eye in the sky. Today, we dive into how the Heron drone shocked the world and changed modern warfare forever. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most influential and least understood aerial systems on the planet, the Israeli Heron drone. This unmanned aircraft didn't just modernize surveillance, it redefined it. For decades, intelligence gathering was slow, risky, and often relied on sending pilots directly over hostile territory. But the Heron changed the game by doing something no manned aircraft could. Staying in the sky for over a day, silently observing everything below with extraordinary clarity. What makes the Heron truly shocking is not just its endurance or stealth, it's the way it fuses advanced optics AI, assisted tracking, and real-time communications into a single, unstoppable intelligence platform. Militaries around the world were stunned the first time they saw what it could do. Nations that once relied entirely on satellites or risky reconnaissance flights suddenly had access to a flying sensor that could linger, search, and track for hours on end. From the moment the Heron took to the skies, the world quickly realized that warfare was entering a new era, one where the battlefield had an all-seeing, ever-present digital witness. The development of the Heron drone began with a simple but revolutionary question. What if we could build an aircraft that never blinks? Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, sought to create something far beyond a simple UAV. They wanted a strategic intelligence platform, one that could observe borders, follow convoys, watch urban zones, and provide commanders with minute-by-minute -minute updates. What shocked analysts first was the level of autonomy. The Heron wasn't merely remote controlled. It could take off, fly, navigate, and land using its own onboard systems. This autonomous design meant fewer human errors, smoother missions, and the ability to operate in difficult weather conditions. Its composite structure, lightweight, but incredibly strong, allowed for massive payload flexibility. At the time of its introduction, most nations were still experimenting with basic drones capable of short-range flight and low-resolution imaging. The Heron arrived like a leap into the future. Engineers had effectively blended aviation, computer science, and surveillance technology into a single machine that could stay airborne for 30 hours without landing. For the military planners who saw it first, the implications were immediate and overwhelming. What truly sets the Heron apart is its sensor suit, arguably one of the most advanced ever placed on a UAV of its class. The Heron carries high-definition electro, optical cameras, infrared imaging, synthetic aperture radar, maritime patrol systems, and advanced communications intercept tools. What does that mean in practical terms? It can see through darkness, fog, sandstorms, smoke, and even some types of camouflage. SAR technology is one of its secret weapons. Unlike normal cameras, SAR creates radar-based images that can detect vehicles, bunkers, or troop movements, even when they're hidden behind trees or camouflaged structures. The Heron can map an entire region and reveal details invisible to the naked eye. This level of clarity shocked global defense observers. Suddenly, borders that were once vulnerable could be watched with near perfect situational awareness. Insurgents who relied on hiding in rough terrain found themselves exposed. Commanders could track a single motorcycle traveling across a desert at night or identify suspicious patterns in a crowded city. The Heron didn't just collect data, it changed how intelligence was understood. One of the Heron's biggest surprises to the world came from its endurance. Most manned reconnaissance aircraft can remain airborne for roughly six, 10 hours, limited by fuel and human fatigue. Helicopters fare even worse, but the Heron 
powered by fuel efficient engines and a lightweight airframe can stay in the air for up to 30 hours straight. This wasn't just a technical achievement, it was a strategic earthquake. For the first time, commanders could monitor operations around the clock without swapping aircraft or crews. The Heron could take off at dawn, watch a border checkpoint all day, follow suspicious activity into the night, and still be in the sky by sunrise the next morning. Enemies could no longer wait out the drone or assume air surveillance would eventually disappear. The Heron created constant pressure, a never-ending watch that exposed supply routes, tracked smuggling operations, and prevented surprise attacks. Militaries around the world rushed, rushed to understand how such long endurance was even possible and how it could be countered. Another reason the Heron shocked the world was its stealth and quiet operational profile. At high altitude, it's almost invisible to the naked eye. Its engine produces minimal acoustic signature, making it extremely difficult to detect from the ground. Many militants described hearing nothing at all before discovering they were being monitored. But stealth wasn't the only surprise. The Heron's communication systems allow it to send high bandwidth data from anywhere within its operational radius straight to command centers. Analysts can watch the drone's live feed and issue orders in real time. This created a new type of warfare, remote precision intelligence. A commander hundreds of miles away could track a target, reroute ground units, coordinate air support, and make split second decisions with perfect visuals. It blurred the line between frontline and operations center. For adversaries who were used to fighting blind, the Heron silent, high altitude presence made every movement risky. Even when nothing could be seen or heard, the possibility that the Heron was watching altered enemy behave your completely. The global military community first grasped the Heron's impact when it entered international service. Countries like India, Germany, Brazil, and Turkey adopted variations of the drone for vastly different missions. Yet the Heron excelled in all of them. In India, the Heron's ability to fly at high altitude proved critical for surveillance along the Himalayan borders, where harsh weather makes manned flights dangerous. In Europe, the German Air Force used the Heron in Afghanistan to protect convoys, observe insurgent activity, and support NATO operations. What shocked experts was how seamlessly the drone adapted to different environments, mountains, deserts, jungles, coastal waters, and urban areas. Its modular design allowed nations to customize payloads with new sensors communication systems or mission specific equipment. The Heron wasn't just a drone, it became a global intelligence platform. Every country that adopted it gained a dramatic upgrade in situational awareness, crisis response and border security. The world quickly realized that Israel had created something with far reaching geopolitical influence. The Heron's combat performance cemented its legendary status. In conflict zones, drones, drones often face jamming, GPS interference, and hostile fire. The Heron proved resilient on all fronts. Its autonomous flight systems allowed it to continue missions even during communication disruptions. Its radar-based navigation helped it fly safely in conditions that grounded other aircraft. What surprised observers was how effectively the Heron supported troops on the ground. It could track enemy formations, spot sniper nests, identify ambushes, and mark targets for precision strikes. Rather than simply relaying footage, it became a real-time decision engine. In counter-terror missions, the Heron's persistent surveillance allowed forces to track suspects over days, not hours. This patience changed the nature of manhunts and tactical planning. Enemies learned that hiding for a few minutes or blending into crowds wasn't enough. The Heron could outweigh them every time. Its impact went beyond individual missions. The drone's long-term presence reshaped entire theaters of conflict and forced adversaries to adopt new tactics or risk being constantly exposed.
Despite its remarkable capabilities, the Heron also brought forward important ethical and political debates. Persistent surveillance raises questions about privacy, sovereignty, and the future of autonomous warfare. Nations began asking whether drones should have limits, how much intelligence is too much, and who controls the data. The Heron also sparked conversations about proportionality in warfare, with drones delivering extremely precise intelligence. Commanders were expected to make better, more informed decisions. This raised the moral bar for military operations, pushing them toward reduced collateral damage and improved accountability. At the same time, critics argued that drones made conflict too easy. Reducing the risks for one side could create imbalances and prolong tensions. These conversations continue today, and the Heron remains at the center of debates about the role of AI and automation in global security. Yet even skeptics admit the Heron's capabilities have set the benchmark for how modern militaries gather intelligence, plan missions, and protect their borders. The Heron's influence extends far beyond military operations. Its technology laid the foundation for advanced civilian applications, from disaster relief to environmental monitoring. During wildfires, drones inspired by the Heron's endurance have provided continuous aerial views, helping firefighters control the spread. In search and rescue missions, its sensors have detected heat signatures from missing persons in vast wilderness areas. The maritime version of the Heron has been used to monitor illegal fishing, piracy, and smuggling across international waters. Its ability to cover enormous areas without refueling makes it invaluable for coastal nations. Perhaps most importantly, the Heron sparked a wave of global drone innovation. Countries realized that unmanned systems could handle high-risk missions more efficiently than manned aircraft. This triggered a technological race that continues today, with drones becoming essential tools in both public safety and commercial industries. The Heron didn't just change warfare, it changed how humanity sees the sky. So, what makes the Heron drone Israel's eye in the sky, and why did it shock the world? The answer lies in three transformative breakthroughs, unparalleled endurance, unmatched sensor capabilities, and the ability to deliver real-time intelligence across any battlefield or environment. It represented not just technological progress, but a visionary shift in how nations understand and manage security. The Heron taught the world that knowing more, earlier, clearer, and continuously could shift the balance of power without firing a shot. Its legacy continues to evolve, influencing new generations of UAVs and reshaping strategic doctrines. From its silent watch at 30,000 feet to the real-time decisions it enables on the ground, the Heron remains one of the most influential drones ever built. And as the next wave of autonomous aircraft emerges, one thing is certain the shockwaves created by this pioneering drone will be felt for decades. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Heron drone and want more breakdowns of game changing military technology, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode. Drop a comment below telling us which weapon or system you want covered next.